I'm Wes, the Strength Director of Marketing for Trophy Line, and this is a saddle hunting pack build meant for the rut, meant for the grind, meant for cold weather, all day sits. This is how I do it. Uh, lately, I've been grinding two weeks. Next two weeks, I'm gonna be grinding every single day, almost all day sits. Uh, cold weather gear is needed. Uh, all day sit, lunch, all that is needed. So um, it's really hard to mix that minimal mindset with taking a lot of gear in for all day sits and just a wide variety of um, possibilities. I mean, anything can happen, it's the rut. Now, normally my style of hunting is actually going in about a mile, mile and a half. I'm in hunting in Indiana and Kentucky. I'm pushing a lot of terrain. So I'm definitely trying to keep that weight as minimal as possible, but there's a couple things that I just won't give up in terms of comfort. Uh, and I think that for that style of hunting, this is definitely the pack that allows me to do that. Now this is, I think, in my opinion, the most minimal pack that we offer. It's the Plateau Pack. It's a lumbar fanny style pack design, and it gives a ton of opportunities, a wide varieties of how you might actually pack, uh, depending on what you like to run in terms of gear. A lot of guys like running the wingman or just a few sticks, a platform. Maybe if you like a tree stand, this can actually fit a tree stand um, and sticks. So it, it just gives you a lot of different options because I think it is so versatile. This is definitely a little bit more comfort design build, yet again, still keeping it minimal. So the features of the plateau pack, again, lumbar style pack design. It does have the waist buckle straps on it. Um, total, it's got seven straps, or I'm sorry, seven uh, different compartments and pockets. It's 1200 cubic inches and it comes in at two and a half pounds So I'm already starting with a super lightweight build the way that it spreads gear out though That is the key in my opinion. Now. This is how I run it. This is the EDP up top again It can carry the mission the onyx really nice. I've got three sticks on the bottom Notice the standoffs are faced out and the, the step distance in between these step uh, the mini double sticks are gonna fit perfectly right alongside that plateau pack. It also has cinch straps on the top two on either side and it has what I call like a leveling strap. This actually levels the deck and keeps that uh, platform or whatever you're carrying up top off the gear, which is really, really nice. Um, right here, I'm putting my, uh, I've actually carry the Sanctuary 2.0 jacket and I'll show how, what I have inside the pack as well. But usually I just throw that pat, that single jacket, it's really warm right over top and I carry some other layers inside. So that's the the main build. Now I'll break it down a little bit more for you in terms of how I pack it. Um, now this is what I'm carrying plus my cold weather gear. I'm running the Venatic saddle, a bino harness rangefinder pouch, and then obviously it's the rut. So sometimes I'm actually putting rattling antlers on here. Now from a rattling antler standpoint, I'm usually running my antlers down like this so obviously you can see it's not hitting any metal it's just draped over top and then over top of this i usually kind of intermix my jackets over top and i'll show that just in a second so again this is the edp it's a run on cinch straps here up top what's nice is i can just flip this up and access everything uh beneath here so again cinch straps here to hold something on top the leveling plop um strap i take all those off and what i do is i simply just drape this is a Sanctuary 2.0 jacket from First Light. It's a pretty heavy duty jacket, but it's extremely warm, so I don't have to pack a whole bunch of layers. And I will simply kind of like roll this up and then I will simply strap these up and over and do the same here. And then take that leveling strap and put it here. Now, what's nice is you notice, what's key about this pack is I'm keeping room right here so i don't sweat my back up real bad these pockets are pretty hard to access now that i've got my jacket here not a big deal i keep everything that i need at the base of the tree in the front pocket so i'll unzip this got my pull-up rope got a three-step aider from backwoods mobile gear i usually only use two steps but i have three in case i need it or that bottom stick that first one uh in two moves i'm at uh roughly 15 feet with two sticks and obviously over 20 if I need to with three. So 
I like being able to run a big aider like that. Next is my bow hanger uh, for when I'm actually up top of the tree. This is the Dew Claw from Innovating the Outdoors. Uh, Kyle Skelly, um, it's got three hooks. I run a GoPro on one and my quiver on the other, obviously bow holder. And then <clears throat> extra lunch, snacks, whatever can also fit in this pocket. Next thing I do, once I have my platform up, I am transferring to my um, tether. So I will go ahead and take my layers and put those on. I hate putting layers on and off, like when I have my bow or anything else in the tree because I just, I get so cautious about knocking something off or, or knocking my bow off or my quiver off. So I'll go ahead and put my layers on and that way it kind of clears everything so I can access all my other gear. So in the next pocket, this pocket has got webbing so it actually stays open up in the tree. I've got my lunch, I've got an old peanut butter and apple in here, my grunt call, but there's a ton of other pockets in here that allow you to kind of store other gear. I've got my kill kit in here, just a couple extra blades and a small packable Gerber. The next pocket, again, I'm self-filming, so I have the Sub One camera arm from Austin um, at Genesis 3D. Uh, really been liking this camera arm. I also run a fourth arrow, it's like an eight ounce fluid head. And then the camera that I'm filming on right now is a, a Sony 6300 with a uh, Rode mic on it. Next, and this is I think critical for cold weather gear and keeping this pack build super minimal, a packable down jacket. This is like 800 insulate REI. It's not very quiet, but it's a bottom layer. It is, I think it's crucial. Next is an extra lens, bigger lens, and then a waterproof, uh, for all my batteries, all of my memory cards, uh, hand warmers, rechargeable stuff, just all of that is right here. Also keep my phone charger and my um, wire, it's always in my truck so I don't forget it, but I can put it right here and just charge my phone for those all day sits. It is hydration compatible. So we've got hydration pack compatible here. Um, next is I carry a water bottle. So I don't wanna run a big hydration pack with just that much film gear in there. And I like just being able to grab a quick water bottle. Um, so I just like to store that there. I've got my beanie, my gloves. Next is batteries and uh, headlamps, extra headlamps. And then I've got some property keys in there, just little odd end stuff. And that's everything again, sticks on the bottom. And that's how I, yeah, that's how I like to run it. That's the plateau pack. This is a rut saddle hunting type of build, minimal but capable of cold weather gear, capable of a lot of different options in terms of what kind of gear you wanna run. And I think this is definitely one of the best options for not sweating your back up, carrying in minimal gear, keeping you a minimal mindset, but just do the essentials. Able to pack lunch, able for those all day sits, a comfortable type of build, uh, just the absolute winner in my book. If you guys have any other questions about pack dumps, you wanna see other pack dumps, wanna see the other packs that we have, the other saddle hunting gear, we have a ton of different options for a ton of different styles of hunting. Um, or if you guys have any questions, just go to trophyline.com, reach out to us on social media. We'll be happy to help uh, dial in your gear for this season. Any other tips that you need, any questions you have on any of our gear, go to trophyline.com, check out our YouTube channel with all of our other hunts and uh, all these other pack dumps.